Hello and welcome to the Savvy Gates channel with me Ian, otherwise known as Ven, and this Project Zomboid video on the new foraging mechanic. Now before we continue don't forget to hit like and subscribe to YouTube and follow me on Twitch and don't forget to check out the social media for Savvy Gadgets on Facebook and Twitter and donate at Patreon and don't forget a live stream one o'clock Sunday afternoons GMT. So the foraging mechanic has changed and it's changed in a way where instead of right clicking on the floor and clicking forage and then your character will scavenge an air, uh, a large area for items and you can pick the kind of items that you actually want to choose, that's no longer the case. Instead you now have to use the magnifying glass on the left hand side of the window and you can turn this on with uh, the end key on the keyboard. But as you can see, you have a new investigate area window, which has popped up on the left hand side, and it has some question marks in it. Now that means you're not gonna find anything. Now if we click the information icon about the foraging search system, it says the new foraging search system. Click the magnifying glass icon on the left hand side of the UI. The investigate area window will show the type of zone you are in, which affects the loot that you can find. Now, bear in mind, I've been doing quite a bit of this and actually managed to find an empty petrol can. If it has question marks in it showing, then there's nothing to find. This is temporary until more foraging search zones are added to the map. Okay, well that's good news. But you can't pick and choose the items that you want to find. So previously you could look for berries, mushrooms, materials, animals, uh, fishing bait and medicinal plants. You can't do that anymore and that's a shame. I think they ought to bring that back. But to start searching, click the Enable Search Mode button, this one, which enables the Investigate Area window. The character will start looking for items whilst you walk around. Now what this what this does is it actually sort of brings the focus into a circle around you and sort of blurs the the, uh, the larger areas. I'll show, show you that in a minute. Um, the eye icon will appear overhead when your character spots something. And keep looking around until the icon is completely visible for the icon will appear and then what will happen is something will pop up on the floor and you'll be able to click it, you'll either pick it up or you can discard it. You'll still get XP either way. Double click the icon item to pick it up. Running will obviously makes it harder to find items. Looking around by aiming will increase the vision radius. I haven't actually seen this happening. Uh, to help spot hard to locate items. Darkness, weather, and negative character moodles, like stress, injuries, etc., will affect your chance to find something. And again, that's new. So if you're unhappy in the dark and it's raining down buckets, you're not going to find anything. So let's see this system in action. Uh, currently, I'm in an, uh, uh, an area where I'm not going to find anything. So let's uh, just tro toddle over here and it's. So that, it's changed into a slightly foresty, so we'll enable the search mode, and as you can see now, if we look in, you can see that there's a, a clear area around my character, but the rest of it's sort of greyed out. Now, at night, if you are happening to do this, it's really difficult to spot zombies. During the day, it's a lot easier, and it's always bear in mind it's a good idea to uh, keep a weapon in your hands, just in case they you know, sneak up and surprise you. But sort of aiming around... Okay, there isn't anything here. I think the uh, the best way to do this is actually to uh, like just walk. And if we walk in this direction, there's a much more sort of dense forest. Oh, oh, there we go. There's the icon on the top of my head, and I found some sticks. Now I don't particularly want sticks. I want food, so I'm going to discard those, and for that I get 30 experience. That's nice. So again, it's going to move over here, and we should, oh, hello, what's this? Mushrooms! We want mushrooms, however, there's no indication of whether they're eating mushrooms or poisonous mushrooms. It would be nice if you could identify them. Now, if we continue in this direction, I think it actually, oh, look, berries! Actually doing really well at the minute three berries and they're edible that's good and for that I'll get more XP okay so if we move 
here you can see we've got like on the investigate area we've got like a couple of trees of the trees and a bush. If we move down here a bit, oh, running actually disables the investigate area. You can see now it's, there are more trees, it's a much more dense and populated area, so it's a different type of zone. So you're going to find different materials and different things. And here, that was that. There's the icon and twigs again. Don't care for twigs. I want food. Give me food. Oh, uh oh, there we go. Two things. Magic. Both the things I don't want. Tree branches and twigs. Fantastic. But you get experience for discarding and you get experience for picking them up. It doesn't matter. So we've moved out the dense area. Let's, let's go back into the dense forest bits. You can turn the the mode on and off with the N key. Oh, and we, oh look, there we go. Look, look at this. Oh, we found that. We found a log. Fantastic. And we've also found what's this? What's this? What's this? More logs. Oh, this is going really well today. Twigs. Now I'm not particularly interested in any of those, but that's that's actually really quite good. So in densely wooded areas, you're more likely to find logs. In areas where there's only a few trees and and uh, bushes, then you're likely to find mushrooms and berries, which is more important. You can now make use of foraging in towns and where you've got lightly built and heavily built areas. You can still forage and find things. You still investigate the area. As you can see, I've found some twigs, and again, I can either pick them up and discard them, use them for firewood, but uh, there we go, there's something else. I've found a grill brush, always useful, as you can, but uh, you will still have to deal with those pesky zombies, look, here they come. Oh, look, I found something else, I found a grasshopper, useful for fishing, I use that as bait. What else can we find quickly? Just breeze between these houses here. Now, with your skill increasing, oh look, twigs, with your skill that increases, the circle radius will also increase. Ah, better go. And so foraging in the inner city has yielded me a few items like rocks and twigs, but it's also found me this, which is a dead rat. So if we pick up the dead rat and double click on the icon, we can then take this, and it says it's fresh uncooked, we can butcher it if we have a knife, whether that's a hunting knife, if it's a carving knife, or in the most case, a machete. And then that gives us some usable rodent meat, which will help keep us alive and keep us fed. And so there you have it, foraging in the inner city and in the uh, sort of more rural communities. Uh, so inner city is now a lot more useful, whereas before foraging wasn't a great deal of use at all. So don't forget, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my videos. Follow me on Twitch and catch my live streams, 1 o'clock GMT on Sunday afternoons. Check out Facebook and Twitter for Savvy Gadget feeds and uh, donate at Patreon. But until the next time, that's foraging in a nutshell. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.